Hello everyone! Hello everyone! On behalf of PSR, I would like to say that we are very glad and honored for being selected a 2019 Energy and Innovation Award finally. In the next few minutes, you'll be watching a video that we have prepared about HERA. The work that we have been doing hard on the last few years is going to be presented to you over the next few minutes. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you! The development of hydropower has been around for more than a century. You may wonder what kind of innovation could be made in this field. Actually, there are several alternatives for developing the hydropotential of a river basin that combines the locations of the project, water levels, and engineering design options. The problem becomes very complex because each alternative will have a different economic, social, and environmental performance. Fortunately, there is something we can do to simplify and optimize this challenge. HERA is a model developed to determine the best combination of projects that will meet energy targets while minimizing investment costs and social environmental impacts. As a decision support tool, HERA helps stakeholders understand trade-offs involving conflicting interests in favor and against the construction of the dams. HERA supports planning at the basin scale level, which is important to evaluate the project synergies. Let me give you an example. A reservoir built in an upper part of a river can modify the flows in the downstream section of the river, thus increasing total firm electricity. The process begins with the use of a digital elevation model. Publicly available data from NASA can be used. HERA uses the elevation data to infer the flow direction and generate river networks for the hydrographic basin coherent with the terrain model. River discharge measured at gauging stations are then used to estimate the water flows at the candidate project locations, considering the catchment areas in the basin. Layers of relevant information are included as part of the process. HERA simulates the construction of the dams for different locations and water levels and determines the corresponding reservoirs. It then quantifies local impacts of the projects, for instance, the flooded area, if population settlements are affected, and others. The engineering component of HERA designs hydraulic structures and determines optimal electromechanical equipment. Several combinations of engineering layouts for each candidate site are tested, sometimes more than 200 combinations for a single location, and thousands of projects are designed for the entire river basin. That is why we use distributed processing so that the speed up of the computation of time is possible. The volumes of each structure, such as concrete and excavation works, are determined, as well as the number and size of turbines and generators, and the dimensions of dams, gates, channels, tunnels, and other relevant structures. Total costs are then obtained by multiplying the calculated quantities with the unitary costs that are applicable in each location. Results can be exported to a GIS software, to Google Earth, and others. In addition, it is also possible to integrate HERA decisions with 3D modeling platforms. HERA's primary objective is to find the alternatives that will maximize hydro production, considering the economical feasibility of the projects while minimizing social and environmental impacts. This is achieved by a complex mathematical formulation. Specialized optimization solution techniques are used to solve this resulting problem. HERA's formulation offers different categories of constraints for the impacts we have been talking about. It is possible to set environmental flows or create targets for river connectivity, that is, the length of river not fragmented by a dam, all of which play an important role in preserving aquatic ecosystems. HERA has been used in cooperation with the Nature Conservancy in river basins in Gabon, Africa, to evaluate alternatives that will increase the much needed energy for the country while maintaining ecological flows for fish conservation. In Mexico, we are using HERA with stakeholders to address social impacts and in Colombia to address financial risks of large-scale projects that tend to have cost overruns and delays. Finally, it has been proposed in Brazil to support stakeholders' engagement by providing a more objective, transparent and inclusive process. We believe HERA is a powerful tool to promote sustainable hydropower development globally. Thank you.